How's it going, everybody? I'm here with Frank from Eris, and we're talking about, what are we calling this? What's this new training I've heard about? So, so this kit is actually called Sparky, the Space uh, Pioneers Beautiful. Amateur Radio Kit Initiative. That's a long name, or the Sparky is the acronym? Sparky is what we're calling it. Okay, got it. And um, Sparky is a whole lot of different aspects of learning about amateur radio, about radio technology, sure. amateur radio, uh, having interactive capabilities for the students to engage in. Mm -hmm. So we start with, uh, uh, with Sparky, we start with waves. We have uh, long and short slinkies and show them. Shaky table. Yeah, yep. all kinds of uh, waves on the ground and everything. Uh -huh. and, um, and then we have this. I love these. Yes, this the is snap a circuit. snap circuit yep. uh, radio kit capability, and it does. Uh, we've got it set up to do Morse code, and um, and then another part of it is our software defined radio. Uh, is this a monitor? This is a monitor. This is for a the monitor for the. That's for the, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to is. ask you about that after the video. <laughs> sure. So basically, what we did for Sparky is we wanted to have a um, a system that was standalone for the teachers. Sure. Teachers don't have time to right. play around with. Things. They're interested in STEM, but they don't have to, the time to go become educated completely in all the right. intricacies of it. So, and the other part is that schools have firewalls, and sure. they can't put this software. Yeah, put that on the network, on their and, network. or the computers. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Per, so, yeah, it makes so perfect we, sense. So we we try to make this totally standalone. So, mm -hmm. um, Air, uh, the, uh, AMSAT and uh, Aris work together. Mm -hmm in developing the software in here. Alan Johnston, uh, the head of education at, at uh, AMSET, was helping us with this project. He's part of our team. Uh, we basically incorporated all of it in the Pi so that it's standalone. You can just take so the Pi. So all inclusive except for the receiver? No, every, what we have, the whole, kit, the whole kit comes with everything here except for a bigger monitor. Sure. What we wanted to do was to make sure that the school had everything they needed to, okay. to get their their stuff done and independent of everything else in the classroom. Wonderful. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, we and what's included? What is it capable of? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Because <laughs> we put a lot of work into that, yeah. and we have more to do. It's right. the stereo initiative we have now with ARDC. One facet of that is Sparky. And stereo is also an acronym. Yes, it is. What of is course. the acronym? Yeah, you know, I'm from <laughs> NASA originally. Yeah. It's, it stands for uh, students and teacher education using uh, radio, experimentation, and operations. Okay. okay, got it. All right, and um, so, and Sparky is an integral part of that. Mm -hmm. So ARDC is gonna be helping us. Um, they're, they're funding us being able to ship like 80 of these out to schools every year. Okay. And so uh, what comes with it also is um, a oh, okay. set of lesson plans that Melissa Poor helped uh, helped us with pull mm -hmm. together. Oh, this is great. Um, and uh, it's very detailed. Uh, it has codes and cipher st stuff in there, little games cool. they can do. Um, the other thing uh, we've learned since we started this, so we're going to spend the next year uh, evaluating this with schools. Okay. okay. Because we're hams. What I did when I was their age is very different than what their interests may be different. Well, or... it's, well, we didn't have cell phones when I was. A that's kid, true. You know? That's true. Right. So yeah, the whole yeah. social media stuff is all yeah. different. Yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, see how much the students um, engage with it. Yeah. And I found, as an example, I found that um, uh, the more interactive you can make the, with it, the more you bring them in. Sure. So one of the things we're considering very strongly on this is to start them out, oh, start them out with family radio service stuff, okay? FRS handhelds. Yes. Right. They can do it with handhelds and then they can do, what you can do with this system, mm -hmm. to answer your question, Yes. is um, you can look at the whole, uh, pretty much the whole sp spectrum of what you'd expect uh, right. where radio signals are, mm -hmm. um, starting with FM radio, they get to see all of that stuff. So you've got an SDR, software defined radio type capability for receiving signals. Right. And that's just the, that's the surface, right? Right. And then what you start doing with it, what, what do you do with all that stuff? So, so yeah, what they would, they do is they start there, then mm -hmm. they look at the uh, weather signals, then they- Like NOAA, like satellite? We can do NOAA. Awesome. We can do uh, actually ISS. Sure. 
So uh, when a school contact comes in their vicinity, they can listen to it on this software-defined radio. I've Audio, used, telemetry, I've all used it to do stuff. APRS. Uh, Wonderful. It, yeah. you just, all you need is a, um, a vertical antenna, mm -hmm. and that's the other thing we provide is antenna system Okay, for. so it's literally turnkey. It's totally turnkey. You just USB power for the Pi. Right. And you've got receiver, antenna, uh, lesson plan to go along with it, the whole nine yards. Right. That's awesome. That's so, really great. So going back to, so this is Sparky, going back to stereo, part of, an important part of stereo mm -hmm. is for us, I mentioned student and teacher education. We're going to be spending uh, time with the teachers, like Teacher Institute does, yeah. TI does, mm -hmm. um, to get them on board and understand this whole system because you can't throw something over the fence and expect a teacher to, to run I agree. with it. Yeah, it's, it's got to be kind of a partnership, right? Right. If they're interested in it, you definitely have the assets and the, and the knowledge base to help bring them along. But you, I, it sounds like you've, you've created a cool little kit here that will help really make the transition into that knowledge transfer space right. a lot easier. So what we're trying to do too is, one other part of this is uh, we'll have, we have slow scan on here too. Right. So you can get the slow scan from ISS. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all the major downlinks we do on ISS you can, you can look at. Okay. But I want to go back to the family radio service yeah, discussion. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now you have all this reception. You can use a family radio service radio. You can do slow scan with it. If you have yep. two pies, yep. you can transmit and receive with family radio service. This sure. gets the students to see, hey, this amateur radio stuff. If, if I had amateur radio license, all I would need to do is a little bit more, and I can get my license mm -hmm. and talk to the world, not just talk 30 feet I, from each other. I love this because, you know, young people, right. well, us included, we take a picture of something, we send it. Right. We don't know how, how it works. It did that. Yes. This is the explaining the how. Exactly. And I think that's what engages young people. Right. My, that's my personal belief. Yeah, no, and this I agree with that. And, yeah. and, and I think um, the more we're able to figure out, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying this alone right now has it, but the more we are able to figure out how to better engage students, right. the more we're going to bring them into the hobby. It, it's this, a process. Yes. Yeah, yes. I love it. What does Eris need? You, you guys are getting this off the ground. What, what how can more volunteers help? More volunteers? Yes. Always need you know, funding. You know that. You, you know, <laughs> time or money, right? Is that the two things? Yeah. Time, talent, and treasure, as they say. You <laughs> time, know? talent, and treasure. Uh, where do people go to find out more about Eris at large, but also this project? Okay, Eris.org is where where they all start. All of it. You can yeah, get information we're, on we're, the new. Well, we're going to be putting stuff in on Sparky and stuff. But Sparky, is this kind of the first time it's being Yeah, well, mentioned? yes, definitely. We've, it, we're, this is, we're invading we're gonna, Sparky. Sparky, uh, Stereo, and Star mm -hmm. is another piece. Is it? Uh, Sorry, what was the new acronym? Star. Star. Okay, what's the acronym for that? Okay, all right. <laughs> Space Telerobotics Using Amateur Radio. Uh, oh, Te telerobotics. Yes. So, like, over-the-air commanding? Yes. Of robots? Yes. Like awesome. like like uh, Curiosity rover. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like the Lunacod on yes. uh, the surface of the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're using radio frequencies to command and control, command and control the yeah, vehicle. Yeah. Wonderful. So this is um, a partnership between ARL and Eris. Wonderful. ARL Foundation is mm -hmm. funding the first year of us developing this, and it basically is taking. If you're familiar with the Maria program and TI. Marius, oh uh, boy, so. Mars, I don't know the acronym there. Yeah, okay, okay, I won't um, test you. But, um, but basically, uh, the TI team developed uh, using these little bobots mm -hmm. um, uh, some code to actually use APRS to command. Uh, oh, these. they use APRS to send the command? Yes. Oh, interesting, okay. Yes. So it's so, completely in the open, and you can hear it and yes. decode it with right. anything. Yeah, that's, right. that's great. I like that. Okay. So, um, so You just have to know what those so there's an messages interesting, are. There's an interesting thing that even ties in Sparky. Okay. Because, um, uh, you know, we're going to start with family radio service with that, and mm -hmm. then move them. What they can do is, using APRS signals, they can command the robots in the same room, or maybe in another room where it's closed as off. As long as you can RF. Right. Right. So they have a they have a like a closed course area, mm -hmm. and they can actually do that. The way we're working this is that uh, the students can first.
command and control the vehicle in the room, right. and they could do that with the family radio service radio. Right. Okay. They can go into another room and have a camera in there, and we're, we're going to develop closed courses that they can work. Nice. You're going to put a good time delay in there, too, like we're pretending it's you Mars? You can do that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I think what we want to do is to have little contests between yeah, schools and, that's great. and students and things like that. And, I mean, hypothetically, yes, you want it to be RF, but there's no reason why the schools couldn't be geographically completely in different places. And you can do that with um, the space station. Oh, now we're talking. That's that's really cool. I so, like that. So, um, you know, you have to. It's like you have to plan it right. You have to plan it right uh -huh. um, because it's two schools have to be in the footprint of the and you gotta, space station. You got to pass time. You got to yeah, deal right, with right. right. So there's your, your so mission there's a needs to be bit specific. Of, there's yeah. a little bit of planning there, but but we could do this with not only with space station, but with, with other satellites too. Wonderful. So Wonderful. Uh, so it's. Um, it's very, hey. it's very interesting uh, what we could potentially do with uh, the star activity. Yeah, this is great. I mean, again, this is, this is a platform of learning that I think particularly teachers in the STEM field are looking for. Right. I'm, I'm really excited about this. So again, uh, Aris.org right. for all the information. Link will be in the description, all that, because you've got a lot of really cool projects going on. Yeah. Frank, thank you so much for sure talking thing, with me. Josh. And uh, everybody that's watching, Make sure to go to the website and support Eris. Time, what'd you say? Time, talent, talent, time, time talent, and treasure. Time, right? talent. I like it. New, uh, new thing we're gonna start using on the channel. <laughs> Thanks again. Appreciate it. All right. It. Sure thing.